Hey, I'm Louise and I am the author of Merlin's Magical Journey, The Rose Garden and this is Merlin. I'm going to share with you today a little bit of a sample from the book, helping you to get a bit of an understanding how this can support your children with their emotions. So Merlin, come, come, come sit up here with me. So Merlin is my main character um, and this is how I've depicted him in the illustration. Um, with my illustrator Hulu Sin. Um, this book is Emotional Resilience, helping you and your children to explore fear through mindful practices. So what I would like to share is a little bit about this page here because this um, tells you a little bit more about the book. It's called The Rose Garden, Grounded and Safe. A mindful story to invoke, to evoke feelings of inner security and safety in times of fear. So I talk a lot about, about being grounded. If we are not grounded and if your children are not grounded that's when feelings can feel be very unsettled and we don't they don't always know how to respond to those feelings so hopefully this book will help them to have some tools and strategies to respond to those feelings of fear and it could be feelings about maybe worrying about going back to school it could be about worrying about having no friends it could be fear of the unknown the unpredictable about change in life it could be that there's a new introduction to a family member or um, lots and lots of different things. And it comes from my personal childhood, how I've created this book um, and the fear I had of communication and fear of speaking out and sharing how I was feeling. So hopefully I can help your children and you with this book to connect together, whether you're reading at bedtime, whether you're reading together um, throughout the day. Maybe your child reads alone with this book. Um, but together, if you build upon this relationship of reading together and use it as a talking point, it can help you to um, bring and reassure, bring reassurance to your children so that they feel comfortable talking about what they're feeling. Now Merlin is a little bit of me, he's my inner child. Um, I am an adult, I work with children, so it's very much a fun element of me sharing that communication that I never was able to do all those many years ago and now to help other children to feel safe and secure to do so and protected. So, um, and the book does, it does give you a little bit of a guideline in the book about how to use it. Like I just spoke about whether they um, to read it on their own or with you as a parent. It's about building resilience with them, giving them the inner tools to step into their young adulthood and the future with the um, simple practice that I share in this book. So what I'm going to share now is a little bit about Merlin and this is the beginning of the book. We're going to share with you about Merlin and about some of the other um, characters in the book as well. Merlin is predominantly the main character. He is going to be guiding children through the book. Okay, are we ready Merlin? So Merlin, sorry, meet Merlin, a courageous, optimistic and magical unicorn who reflects positivity, self-belief and love throughout Rainbow Castle Kingdom. <laughs> All the colours of the rainbow ripple through his mane, each with their own magical power to help children feel good about themselves. On top of his head, on top of his head, is a golden spiralled pointed horn ready to awaken magic wherever he goes. He shimmers a pure white smooth and silky coat which reflects positivity to all those he meets including you. Okay. In Rainbow Castle Kil Kingdom oodles of unicorns live. Just as enchanting as Merlin they light up the sky with their streams of bright colours and bring joy and happiness to children all over the world. So we're starting off with a really positive um, story there but there is some challenges in this book and um, there is some things that your children need to kind of question and think how can I find the answers to this and then as well throughout the book there's mindful practices that will help them to overcome, manage, be confident to take steps when in real life something similar comes up. So Merlin walks through the story with them. He is the companion, he is a protector, he is 
something that just lights the eyes up for children and me as an adult. So whether you're reading this with your child or alone, don't forget, it is about you kind of empathising with your children, being able to understand what they're feeling and using story time is a beautiful, gentle way to do so. And it's just an opening space, a safe space, where children feel that they are comfortable to explore what they're feeling, whether that's with you or whether they feel confident to go and share that with someone else. It's taking those first steps in speaking, talking, and then responding with these beautiful practices that they can carry on using throughout their young life into adulthood. And then as a parent, these practices are for you as well. They are really simple, but really, really effective if you put them to use on a regular basis. So mirroring is a great way to help your young person feel like they are doing really good on their path. And they're gonna have hiccups through the way, you're gonna have hiccups through life, but just remember, going back to the basics and then implementing it as much as you can. And colour is very key in this story, as well as mindful colour visualisations I use quite a lot of, um, because this is only story one. There's seven stories because the rainbow is made up of seven colours and they all will connect with different feelings, different emotions, different parts of the body. And this one is our foundation, it's about the first colour of the rainbow, which we'll talk more about in the book as well uh, when you read it. Um, and it's about bringing them foundations into your life as a good starting point. Now, if you'd like to buy it, you can head over to Amazon. It is available to buy now across the world. Um, or you can check out my website for more details about it. I do have a competition. Um, if you'd like to enter, you can head over to my website, peaceandpresence.co.uk. The competition is about you showing your creativity as a parent, as a child, in ways that you already find um, in your life some calming strategies and tools to help your child when they are feeling emotions of fear and other feelings as well. And I want to see what you're already doing so that I know that the person that's going to win this book is going to be enlightened even more um, with some new strategies and tools um, and connect this book to the right owner. <laughs> so thanks very much for listening. I'm Louise Wynn Stanley. Make sure you follow me, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram. I'll put all my links on here. Facebook, Instagram, I'm on LinkedIn and also on YouTube. Um, so subscribe and follow and make sure you like as well. Don't forget to share this. Really important to share because this message is for everybody. Thank you very much from me and thank you from Merlin. Have a great day. Bye.